Your head spins as you gather yourself. Fresh air and firm ground feel almost alien to you, but not as alien as the creature hiding deep inside your head. You must get rid of it. It's safe with you. Lady Shah's mission can still be fulfilled, but only if you can find a cure first. The tadpole must be evicted, be it by blade, magic, or any other means you can find. More of those wretched things. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. <laughs> Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? to keep that darling neck of yours. Now, 
I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did to us caused that link. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my. You've been busy. So... Did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Wait, th that's it. You're doomed, sorry, and then off to the next adventure. These worms are doing something. I can feel it. What are you going to do about it? I need to find out more before I let anyone root around in my skull. I'll find an expert. Good luck, I suppose. Here's hoping we're still wearing the same skins when we next meet. Ah, hello again. Still alive, I see. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. Well, hello. What can I do for you? You consider how he's likely to react. 
You haven't seen eye to eye on many things so far. Well, what is it? Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. It be hurt than me. Do be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted. Defeated, its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. You consider how he's likely to react. You haven't seen eye to eye on many things so far. Well, what is it? Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Something's amiss with that room. Seems unstable. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous.
your back into it! Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? I suppose few enough can. Not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favour. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. You consider how he's likely to react. You haven't seen eye to eye on many things so far. Well, what is it? You're not first in magic, are you? I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Need something? as a toad and twice as ugly the thing's dangerous leave it for the goblins to kill and if it escapes 
How will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. No, I'm not leaving this fiend with a stranger. Kill them. Coward. Let's get the creature to camp. Then we'll look into the blast. Hold it still. I'll tie it up. You expect a gift Yankee to surrender? Imbeciles! Prove you're not a craven! Join me or die! No! You rat! You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad and... The thing's dangerous. And if it escapes, how will you... Your skull pound. Get rid of them. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Careful, I bite. If I must... Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Get me down! 
The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. A pity that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. <laughs> 